My name is Francisco. I'm Peruvian. So today we're going to be making a ceviche with a drink called leche de tigre, as well as some sides of sweet potato, corn on the cob, and avocado. Ceviche is one of my favorite dishes from Peru. It is essentially fish that's not cooked uh, in the traditional sense. It's cooked by using the acid of lime or citrus fruits. Now the leche de tigre is actually the leftover lime juice from the ceviche. Now if we add some fish stock to that, it makes leche de tigre, which essentially in English translates to the milk of the tiger, which is called that because of the, the strong taste and the strong effects that leche de tigre have. In Peru, it's commonly thought that leche de tigre is an aphrodisiac, or, and pretty much that it cures all, all ills like hangovers. So, yeah. Most important ingredient is the fish. So we have two pieces of fish here. Um, white fish is best used for Peruvian ceviche. And the two fish here that we have is tilapia and swordfish. Limes, or anything that produces an acidic juice like oranges or lemons. Some hot peppers. And some red onions. For some garnish and on the side, we're going to have some lettuce. Sweet potatoes. And some corn. Avocado, coriander, some vegetable oil, butter, and for the drink that we're going to be making with the extra juice from the limes, we're going to be making um, the leche de tigre with some fish stock as well. Mm. Alright, so we're going to start off with uh, juicing the limes. So I'm just going to cut it in half and then place it on the juicer. Now for this particular recipe, if I want to make it enough ceviche for two people, I'll probably use anywhere between 8 and 12 limes. Um, for a very traditional Peruvian dish, you mainly just use limes, but for an Ecuadorian one or for a Mexican one, you can add lemons or oranges. Depends on your taste. So after we're done getting all the juice out of the limes and we have enough juice, for both the ceviche and the leche de tigre. We're going to cut up some chilies and do that to taste. Add as much or as little as you want depending on how spicy you like ceviche. And we're going to cut up a red onion. Now we're going to cut up the onion in two different ways. One will be for the garnish, so we're going to leave that in quite long, large strips. And the other will be what we're going to marinate the fish with. So I'm just going to separate the, the onions and the peppers for now. And so now we're going to move on and cut up the main ingredient, which is the fish. We're going to be using some white fish today, some tilapia and some swordfish. Uh, the swordfish has a very nice meaty texture to it, so I really enjoy uh, having ceviche with that. But you can use different types of fish. The, the Peruvian style dish is mainly used with, with white fish, but you can use anything, any kind of fish that uh, has like a meaty texture, like, uh, like salmon is a very good fish that you can do this with. So the smaller that you cut up the fish, the, the quicker it will take to, to marinate in the fridge. But you don't want to cut it up too small. We're going to add this to, to the bowl right now. So now that we have the fish in the bowl, we're going to add the juice on top of it. Now we're going to be adding the, the onions and the peppers. And we're going to mix this up. Now it's the, the acid of the, the limes that's going to cook the fish. So after about an hour or two hours or at max three hours, the fish will actually turn a pasty white color. And then you know that the, the fish is ready. And now we're going to cover it up. And we're going to put this in the fridge and we're going to take it out every so often uh, to, just to give it a mix. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the side portions of the ceviche dish. Let's start off by 
boiling the potatoes. We're going to be uh, first boiling the potatoes um, in some hot water. We're going to boil them halfway just so they're tender enough that we can take the skin off very easily. So now while that's boiling, we're going to move on to prepare the corn. And just like the potato, um, since we don't have a grill outside that we can put it on, we're going to imitate that by putting it in the oven. First, we're going to cover it up in some butter. And now these are ready to go into the oven. We're going to turn on the oven at the highest possible temperature. And then once we put the corn in there and the uh, potatoes in there, then we're going to switch it to a broil setting. And we're going to put it on the bottom. The fish is preparing in the fridge and we're cooking the corn and the potatoes. We're going to prepare the garnish. So we cut up some onions before, so we have that ready. We have some leftover peppers, and now we're just going to put up the coriander. And so now we're going to cut up the avocado. We're going to cut it up into some slices that we're going to add to um, the side of the ceviche dish. So after we cook the potatoes for about 20 minutes so they're a little bit soft, we're going to take them out and put them in some cold water. Potatoes are nice and cool. We're gonna first take the skin off and then slice them up into medallions. We're going to put them on a grill. We're gonna lightly cover up the medallions in some, some oil. We're going to leave this in the oven just until it's uh, lightly toasted and then we're going to flip the potatoes just once. So after about 15 minutes, we're going to take out the medallions of potatoes and we're going to flip them over. After you flip it over, you're going to want to add some more oil to the other side. And we're going to put it back in the oven after we flip it over and put some more oil on it for 15 more minutes. So now we're going to take out the corn. We can take it out after about 20 minutes of cooking. And we'll let that cool off before we unwrap it. One of the reasons I like to put it in foil is because it keeps, uh, keeps it nice and warm for quite a long time while we're making everything else ready. So after about an hour, an hour minimum, you can take out the ceviche and you can take a look at it to see if it's done. And it pretty much looks good. You can see that it's now a white color of the fish whiter than the fleshy color that it was before. Okay, so now that everything is almost ready, we're going to decorate the plate. We're first gonna add some lettuce. Now we're gonna take the ceviche and add it on top of the lettuce. And once we've done that, the leftovers we're going to use to make leche de tigre. And now we're going to be making some fish stock to make about 400 milliliters. And we're just going to let that cool. And we're going to be adding that to the ceviche juice later. With the leftover juice and with some fish still in there and some onions and some peppers, we're going to add the fish stock. Now we're going to put this back in the fridge to let it cool. Once we've let the juice from the ceviche mix with the fish stock, and we could put that in glasses. We could add some garnish to that.
And there you go. Okay, now that the potatoes are done, we can take them out. And we can start adding everything to the plates. We're going to mix all the garnish together, so that would be the pepper, the coriander, and the red onion. So now we're done with the ceviche, with all the sides, the corn on the cob, the sweet potato on the avocado, and the leche de tigre. Salute! Try some at home.